Hi, this is a video uh, entitled Giveaway Baby for Creative Newborns. Uh, this is my video entry into this uh, really wonderful contest. I'm coming into um, the uh, video entry process a little late here. I guess it'll end on November 25th and uh, today's the 21st, but um, I hope that this uh, video uh, can still be seen and considered. Um, yeah, I think it's very interesting that uh, and amazing that someone would make a reborn and uh, give it away. Now, I have made a little um, thrifted doll, reborn it and used parts and uh, made one myself and had a, not a contest but a giveaway where people just entered and over a course of a few weeks times I gathered I think I had 20 something names and it actually went to uh, it was a um, a mother or a grandmother would enter for her uh, daughter or a granddaughter and this was just a couple of months ago and um, a little girl won this uh, little doll that I had created it wasn't anything super special it was you know, like I said, made out of thrifted parts, but I dressed it really cute, made her a nice box opening, and the mama and the her little daughter were just thrilled with it. So, yeah, I know how exciting a box opening can be, and especially if you win something. I think it's awesome. Um, so the three questions that Creative Newborns uh, asked that we would uh, address in our video, uh, here's question number one. Um, how did you discover reborns? Well, I'm going to be 62 um, November 27th and about two, two and a half years ago uh, we had moved several years ago from Michigan to um, Alabama and then I had worked for a community action agency for most of the time that I was down here and then I had um, had to stop working because of a disability. So I started looking for something that I could do um, at home that would let me be creative. My particular disability was migraines and um, severe arthritis in my hands and fingers and feet. So uh, there was days I couldn't do anything with my hands and other days that I wanted to. Uh, years ago I used to play piano and I uh, knit and I crocheted and I sewed and I could do a lot of hobbies but um, I had gotten to where I couldn't do that most of the time so I just was on the computer and going through um, and saw people talking about reborn dolls and that they were painted and um, and I saw how they painted them and it was uh, Genesis heat set paints and that but like I said, I was on um, disability and I didn't have the funds to do that. So I started going deeper into the Reborn uh, videos to see what they were talking about. And uh, some people hit, were painting with air dry acrylic paints and craft paints and stuff. And so that's actually how I started painting dolls. And along the way, my son had bought me a doll. Um, my husband had bought me a doll. And through the years, I've had to, um, because of family issues and health issues and financial issues, I wasn't able to keep those. So I started um, making my own. And, um, yeah, so uh, sometimes they turn out and sometimes they don't. My very uh, One of my first ones that I made, it did not turn out looking like a human, so I painted it all, um, <laughs> I painted it all green, I think and uh, gave it black fingernails and called it a monster baby so I was turning my lemons into lemonade but that's how I discovered uh, Reborns and then of course like everybody else I love watching other people's box openings um, watch their collections watch their role play videos it's a lot of entertainment and also um, I have three teenage grandchildren that all live in Michigan I don't ever get to see them um, it's been years. I never got to see them from their uh, babyhoods up until teenage, and then I've gotten to see them a couple times for a day here or there. And then I've got my youngest granddaughter uh, just turned four in Michigan, and she 
Um, I've only I got to see her for three days when she was born, and then I got to see her for two days uh, earlier this year, just before she turned four. So she um, that's another reason that uh, reborns and how I discovered them was um, I just you know we had the aching arms. I had four children of my own, and then uh, grandbabies, but then they were. Uh, not access to any of them and it gave me something that I could snuggle and hug and that kind of leads into um, the second uh, part of the question was why do I love reborns and uh, it's the mama in me I just love how they feel I love the feel of them in my arms and um, I just I love dressing them and uh, I don't 99% of anything I've dressed a reborn in was from a thrift store. So I've also had the fun of going out and shopping for baby clothes in the thrift store and seeing what treasures I could find and trying to dress the babies really cute. And they have so much more clothes now than they had when my babies were 30 and uh, 40 years ago. Um, so many more cute things for babies and so I'm just having a ball when I get to do that. Um, also, they're just, uh, there's times, you know, that you just, you're stressed and you just want something to cuddle. Um, I, I'm older and sometimes I just walk by and it's something I can speak to as I'm walking by when the house is empty. So it's just kind of a, a neat thing. It's been a companionship and it's been a creative uh, thing for me and it's been entertainment. Like I said, I get to go shopping and and uh, find them things and, and get the pleasure of doing that. So that's why I love reborns. And the third part, what would it mean to me to win this baby? Well, it would just be awesome. I've, uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not usually a winner. <laughs> and so it would be uh, really awesome. But I know everybody has their reasons that, um, what it would mean to them to win the baby. I just, um, I love that it's a little sleeping baby. Um, I especially love the feel and the look and the cuddle factor of a little sleeping baby. Um, it would just mean so much to me. Um, like I said, my hands don't always let me create a baby and I don't always have the funds to um, buy kits and that. I do thrift and I have put some dolls together from thrifted parts a head here and limbs there and you know salvage a doll body and, and salvage the eyes you know and, and put it together and it's been cute but um, to have a real um, artist made uh, baby won by me that would just be amazing so uh, I want to thank you for the chance to enter this contest and um, yeah I just want this was one that I reborn out of a, a kit that I um, found off of eBay. This is the Nolan uh, kit and I named this one Nola because it's a little girl and uh, yeah and so anyways I just want to thank you for the opportunity to enter and I wish everyone uh, great luck and whoever gets to win that pretty baby is very very fortunate indeed and thank you so much for hosting the contest it's it's very special when someone does that so thank you very much and hope good things come your way for you doing good to the community like this okay thank you so much bye